Sabalenka Arena. She's in trouble right now, ladies and gentlemen. Taking on Kuda Matova, and there goes the racket. Sabalenka broken multiple times, broken twice, and she smashes her racket. What's new? Now, Coco Golf Club, big talk in the tennis world right now, but let's talk about Sabalenka, right? She had a rough earlier part of her career. Uh, she's always had the power. She's always had the deep, powerful baseline strokes that can frustrate opponents. But the reality here is it didn't come together overnight. It took many years on the season, losing big matches, getting eliminated by great players like Ashley Barty, right? And the reality here is it took a lot of defeat and pain and, and lessons and improving and mental focus for her to finally push through. And now she's a Grand Slam champion. Now she had several doubles slam championships with Elise Mertens, who by the way, doesn't have an answer on why Sabalenka won't play doubles with her anymore, just like her opponent, Kudamatova. Won a WTA finals with Kudamatova. She wants to play doubles now with Ludmilla, who, look, Ludmilla's arm is wet noodles, I'm sorry. I'm a huge fan of Ludmilla, but I don't know what's going on with her. I've never seen a elite player blow so many leads after breaking opponents. She's injured. Her, her shoulder's injured. Her knee's injured. She might need to rest. But if we look at players like Coco Goff, we, we see she's physically healthy. Coco hasn't had many injuries at all. She had that one ankle injury against Buskova last season other than that coco's healthy she, she eats well she's highly intelligent but i do feel becoming a superstar so early is affecting her now mentally i really i really think it's all mental uh, i i think i really really do i mean coco's been on tour for four seasons now take a look at veronica, veronica kudamatova who's seven years older than coco another opponent coco's had success against sapolinka and kudamatova coco's beat both of them but Kudmatova is seven years older than Coco and she just got her break five seasons ago right Coco's been doing this since 15 Kudmatova is 26 so we look at why Coco's struggling Rome wasn't built in a day it takes time Coco you've already had an amazing career you're beyond successful you've accomplished more by the age of 18 than any player in the top 10 right now it's okay. Just take it easy, Coco. You'll be fine. But if you take a look at this matchup here, Kudamatova, a lot of people don't realize how strong of a server she is. And I talked about this a lot. And pe people, she, she flies under the radar. But I mean, she's in the top five in total aces this season. Last year, she had almost 300 aces. The year before that, she had almost 300 aces on the year. She's an amazing server. And when I tell people that she's led the tour in aces, she's been amongst the leading acers on tour the last three seasons. People don't, they don't realize it. Take a look at Sabalenka. So far this season, she has 228 aces. Last year, she had 261. The year before that, she had 244. Yes, guys, Veronica Kudamatova has had more aces than Sabalenka the last two seasons. No one realizes that. And right now, she is frustrating Sabalenka. Sabalenka is losing her cool. Can she keep her composure and work her way back in this match? Stay tuned. Tennis in a minute.